Hey, hey, come on. Let's go to school. It's time to go to school. We're going to learn today. Let's learn something today. If anybody can, uh, you know, I'll give you $40 oh for a ride. God. And they're these beautiful single women. I'll give you $40 for a ride. My husband inboxes them immediately. Where are you trying to go? And I'll tell him, that's unacceptable. I don't like it. And stop. And of course, it'll happen. Is that a thing now? Never heard of that. <laughs> Is that a thing people doing off the books, raggedy, you know, uh, <laughs> fake lift driving, <laughs> ride sharing thing? Well, dangerous. It's very is, dangerous. Is it a thing? I guess so. Uh -huh. I wouldn't do it because I wouldn't put myself Are in Are you taking place. women places? Well, Your Honor, it's, sir, Mrs. It's like, it's like this. <clears throat> Taylor has trust issues with... Of course, man. You keep going on Facebook. <laughs> That's funny. Me being of what I do as far as me trying to run my own business. You what know, do you do? I'm a music artist. You a yes. musician? Um, I'm an engineer. You're an engineer? Yes. So you produce beats? Yes. And I produce live shows and everything. So uh -huh, uh -huh. With, with that being said, it's a lot of, it's a lot of women, uh -huh. you know, that... Oh, yeah. Want to be like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, it, whoa, look yeah. at the smile it probably on your will. face. Absolutely. There probably is women that's like, oh, Rayvon, I just love your music. But you're not but just you're gonna a married take anybody man. to where they gotta go. I don't know where she calling it, a, a Uber or the Facebook Lyft. Uber. Facebook Uber. I got. You. I don't know. Tell me some other mistakes that he's made that you've caught him in. So this woman, he, he tried to make me feel comfortable. Oh, this is the only thing I'm doing. I'm just giving her rides. This is what it is. And I accepted it. I said, you know what? I'm going to let my guard down. I'm going to trust my husband and what he's telling me. I stumbled. Oh, she left his phone, her phone, in his car one night. And it was right. late. See? It wait, was late. Allow your wife okay. to finish. It was late. She left. Mm -mm. Hmm. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, man. Phone in the car. He came home, passed out. I don't know if they had drinks or what it was, but she texted his phone and said, "Hey, I left my phone in your car." And I'm like, "So I'm going through the messages." And I, prior to the day, he said, uh, "He said, uh, hey, something to the effect, don't worry, um, Daddy's gonna come over there and take care of it." And she's like, "Oh, Daddy, <laughs> Woo Daddy." She She's like, oh, thank you, because mommy's going to have your back all day. Well, I call him daddy, and he calls me mommy. So why is it that you and another woman are talking like that? It shouldn't be that way. Mr. Mr. Welsh? Well, clearly, he has a mama, and he has a stepmama. <laughs> Would you like to respond to that? I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> and maybe it's an exaggeration. You don't know what I'm talking about? But Ooh, it's far. It's right here, What is that, Photoshop? What is that, Photoshop? Yeah, that's what he said. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you, I mean, if you go run around, at least be slick about it, you know? I mean, you know... Those it, are the things it, that are so, happening, it's right? It's so much as, you know, it's just like when I'm having a conversation with another woman, Right. As far as on the business level, they kind of get carried away, you know, you know what I'm saying, by saying extra things and everything. But did they get carried that, away or did that, he get carried that, that leads her to believe that I'm flirting back when I'm really not. When you're really not. Right. So you have not stepped out on your marriage at all in the four years no, that you've I'm been not, married. I'm not, not going to say that. See? That's what happened. Girls, they always go for good looking guys. And most of the time, the good-looking guys, they get so many attention all over the place. Now, they don't have time for you. Why? Because whenever they stepped out, they always find one woman. Whether on the bus, wherever they go. Some woman. Because nowadays, these women, they so forward, man. Once they see you, they like you. <laughs> they, I, they, they, will, they will walk to you and ask you for your phone number and you forget you forget that you married and a lot of these i'm not saying that you can't you cannot be with a good looking guy but a lot of these women man the good dude they 
They can't stay with the good dude. Why? You know, he's too nice. You know, I like him to be rough a little bit. Oh, jeez. Now that's what you get. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't because I have. When we first got together, everything was like, we was inseparable. Like, you know what I'm saying? She made me macaroni. I love her macaroni. You know what I'm saying? And, Is that yeah. enough, Nick, just to make your macaroni? <laughs> Good. And that's it? Good. Yeah, Good yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's just like... <laughs> She does everything for what a wife's supposed to do, like, you know, take care of home and everything. But what leads me to my actions yeah. is because, you know, she had one of her ex-boyfriends she used to write letters to. Uh-huh. Saying how she used to miss him and... Why, you she, were married? A few weeks after we got married. Did you do that? I did. I, I wrote a letter to my ex. It was about a month after we did get married, and... I don't know. I think that I was just like, oh my God, I just got married. And what if I walked out on the person that I should have been with? And oh. it, I, it was, it was. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. <clears throat> so clearly she got married. She, she got married with the person. She got married with somebody that she doesn't even like. <clears throat> and I'll tell you that right now. That happened every day. You know, I'm with him because, you know, he got a good D. You know, he's good and bad. I like, you know. But deep down in your heart, you know who you like. And that happened every day, man. You know, we we so confused nowadays, man. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. Why? Because that's that's our nature. We just want to choose for ourselves. We want to do our own thing. We forget about God. If that happened, I don't want to be like that. Isn't that something you do before you get married to decide yes, whether or not the last yes, cat you were with was the cat you wanted? Yes, ma'am. Holy cow! I admit it. I admit it. It was a mistake. I apologized to my husband. We, I told him that I, I saw the way it made him feel. It hurt him deeply. Mm -hmm. And I regretted it. I told him that I would never do anything to ever hurt him again. And I stood by that word. Did you really feel that way, though? I don't, I don't think I did. I think I was just scared and and was like, okay, I'm finally moving on now. And I, I think I was just scared of that because well, you spend a lot of time. She was still in I understand, Mr. Wells, Mr. Wells, pay attention, pay attention. <laughs> I understand that you believe that whatever infidelities you committed were a function of the fact that you were hurt by the fa that letter. That I believe. The question we have to answer now is what is the extent of your infidelities and I understand you have a video tape of actual this actual sex act with another woman did you actually find a videotape of your husband having sex with another woman I did find a videotape of him getting a sexual act it wasn't you it wasn't me oh guys this is crazy see now as you can see they they, you can tell they like each other and you can tell that she's not a bad woman she might get confused sometimes you know so you know as you can tell she likes him but what happened a lot of time man we we run after the money we don't feed our mind so when your mind is empty now you go by your feeling especially women they not it not in I, I, I say 85% of what they do, they do it by feelings. You know, you could tell she's not a bad woman. And that dude, he's a he you could tell he's not a bad dude, but he's a good looking dude and he can control the the like the attention he gets from other women. You know? Hey, be wise on who you choose to be married. And see, the thing is, it's better. 
to be married than go out there sleep with all type of woman with all type of man it's better to choose one person because if you if you keep having sex everywhere you go i'll tell you what from experience every single person you have sex with it's like you left one piece of you one piece another piece one piece another piece now next thing you know your joy is gone your happiness is gone your value of life is gone everything on the inside the most precious thing is gone it's like now you are walking dead person why because you open you open your door your spiritual door to everyone and that's not good <laughs> Mrs. Welch, did you actually find a videotape of your husband having sex with another woman? I did find a videotape. It wasn't of sex. It was of a different act. His friend's birthday came up, and he said, hey, I'm going to, you know, if you don't mind, I'm going to take your car and go hang out, you know, hang out with my friend. First of all, I said, okay. And um, I would say probably about two or three days later, mm -hmm. I went through his messenger on Facebook, and he sent a video to the friend that he was supposed to be with that night, a video of him getting a sexual act. Oral sex. Oral recall. Oral sex is sex. That's why they call it oral sex. It's yes, just with a different orifice. That you know, but uh, well, it wasn't you. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. So I, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what she's talking about. Probably a picture. It was a picture too. I don't know if it's a, a, video. a video. Probably a picture, but it's probably like you know more like she contacted that ex, set fuel to the fire, mm -hmm. so they what? got the arguing. And so no. she sent that video to I don't to even her. know who the woman in the video was. I got you. I got you. Mr. Wilson, you, you said that because of that letter, you did do some wrong stuff. What, yeah, for sure. What for wrong sure. stuff are you willing to cop to? Is there oh, anything man. you're willing to say, yeah, I did that? <laughs> That's no. against the code. Isn't man, it? I know, but... You See, you could tell. He's, he's not honest. <laughs> he he knows he's wrong, but... He, he won't, he won't admit it. You know, at the end of the day, she hurt me. I wanted to make her hurt as much and, as she and, hurt and, me. And, like. That's baby. That's childish. And I get that. How long does that last? Right. I mean, how many times do you have to hurt her back because of that letter? Because of the letter. Let, let, I mean, it's more to that. It's deeper than that letter, what she said about, you know what I'm saying, about me to that ex. What? Yeah. And how long does that last? I don't know. I don't know what she, I don't know. She called you a B and an H and an idiot and a fool and an ignoramus. Anything she could have called you. That was five, almost five years ago. I'm asking you, how often are you going to be able to hurt her before you feel even? Oh, I'm not trying to hurt her no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... I'm trying to move past that. When's past the that. last time you did something inappropriate outside of your marriage? Probably like a year and a half. A year and a half? Has he been cool for a year and a half? I think that he hasn't physically cheated in a year and a half, but about three, all that about three weeks ago, boxing. he was just texting some chick on Messenger calling her mommy and what you cooking me for, di you know, what you cooking. And do you do that? You can't deny that one. Oh, God. So this guy, he has a lot of stepmother. <laughs> he has a lot of stepmom. Jeez. Man, you got a lot of moms. Really? What she talk about? Mm. I don't know what she talking about. Unless she could pull another pic, uh, <laughs> paper up saying that she... I don't know what she You don't know about. nothing. You no. don't know nothing. Wow. What do you think is the primary problem in this relationship? She more, I like, you know, she's controlling, insecure, you know, she don't trust me as far as me stepping out the house for like at least 10 minutes, 20 minutes, exactly. 30 minutes, maybe so. But you do, exactly. you admit that for about three years that you did, did mess around on her. Yeah. So that's, that's, it, it, that's like saying, you know, how dare you bleed on me after I shot you. <laughs> <laughs>
You shot her and you shot her and you shot her. Every Still time that, that she went saw somebody else, you shot her. So she's bleeding. That you know, when when you cheat on somebody, cheat on somebody, and cheat on somebody, you lead them to believe that you are a cheater because that's in fact what you are. And therefore they have no reason to trust you. So you have no one to blame for her lack of trust but you. I wanted to come out here and show some compassion for you until you came out here with Okay guys, just Part two is coming up. So guys, tell me. Tell me what do you guys think, man? What do you guys learn? Because it's crazy out here.